Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm going to compare the Bugaboo Buffalo to the Bugaboo Chameleon 3. Now this Bugaboo Buffalo, I believe, is a 2016 model, or it could be even 2015, I'm not sure. It, the little tag is worn off, and this, I believe, is a 2013 or even 14 Chameleon. So there's a few differences between the years, but as a whole pram, they're pretty similar in the designs from the 13 all the way to the 16. So I will show you the difference between them. Let's start with the first thing that is noticeable. You can see two different colors here. So the Bug 3, the Chameleon 3 is a silver frame and the Buffalo is a black frame. Both of these prams are available in both different colours, so you can get this in the black frame and you can get this in the silver frame. Uh, the hoods that are on them at the moment aren't the exact hoods, so this is a custom made hood and this is actually a donkey hood because the donkey hoods fit on the buffaloes. The next thing would be the adjustable handles, let's start with those. So on your chameleon you unclip the two white buttons. Anything on the bugaboos that are white do something. And then you lift your handle up and then clip them back in. This is as high as your handle goes. And with your buffalo, again you unclip the white bars and clip them back in. So they go, let's line them up straight. They're actually the same height in the handlebars. The buffalo seat is a little bit higher than the cam seat. That's what I've noticed. And also when you put the handles back down, the buffalo handle goes down a lot lower than the cam handle does. And I find that really handy for folding it up. Just take this cup holder off and it will go down even lower. So it makes it really compact with the fold. I thought the fold was going to be really big with the buff because of the big wheels, but it's not the thing. The seats are very similar, but they are a different size. I believe that the buffalo seat is slightly narrower and possibly a little bit deeper and taller. The next thing that I hate about the buff and I love about the cam is the handbrake. So the cam has a handbrake here, which is really easy and I've gotten used to. Oops. So that's it here. And you just press the white button and push the red lever forward and it releases. Whereas with the buff, it has a foot brake. So you have to click it on and off with your foot. Harnesses, there are a difference in the harness because of the year models. If you go and buy a cam right now, it will come up with the same harness, which is a five piece um, harness. So it you press the center button and it breaks into five pieces. Whereas this harness here, it's still a five point harness, it just has the two buckles that go into the one bottom clip. And I find it annoying because you have to like get the baby's arms in instead of just clipping them all around. The cam has an extra added feature of being able to switch the handle over that the buff doesn't have. So if you were going on, on like grass or something and it was a little bit harder to push, you do turn it around and you put the big wheels at the front versus the small wheels. And then when you're back on a normal ground, you just face it back this way. So these are the small wheels on the cam that have the suspension. On the buff, there are large wheels front and back. Gives a nice smooth ride. These are actually foam filled wheels front and back. The back wheels on the cam are foam filled and the front wheels are just like a rubber. Um, a rubber wheel. You don't get your adjustable suspension with your buffalo but you do have the big nice wheels that will make up for that. 
The baskets are big on both. I do like how you can fold the chameleon up and you can cut stuff in here. So if you were had a few little bits in the shopping basket, and here I am. <laughs> If you had a few things in the, sh the bottom of the shopping basket that you didn't really need right now, you can just put them all in with the pram. I'm not sure about the buffalo if it does that yet, but I assume it would be something similar. They both have the swivel belly bar, so you press the button in and it swivels around. They do also come off if that's what you were wanting, but yes, both swivel belly bars. Both have the hood cap that can be removed. Lockable front wheels on both prams, so with these big white buttons down here, press those. And then once you straighten the wheels up, it will lock them in place for a rougher terrain. If you push the bug wheels backwards, and you pull the bugaboo backwards, the wheels will lock that way with a clip at the back. But you have to actually lock them in place so that they know where to go. And they lock them. To unlock, use the buttons again. Slide down. White buttons at the front remove the wheels on the chameleon. So this one here takes it off. The white buttons at the back of the buffalo take their, take the buffalo wheel off like that. So there's Two reasons why I wanted the buff over the cam. You guys know I've had my cam for ages and I love it, but it's just not the pram at the moment that I need. It's been super good and I love it, but there were two reasons why I wanted to get the new, a new buff. One was the harness, because it's really hard to adjust the harness with this older style harness, all of the, I don't know, it's like all entangled and there's so much harness. Even with this new one, there's a lot of harness there and it kind of bothers me, but I can see why they've done that. And the second reason that absolutely bothers me is to recline the Bugaboo cam. You have to go on either side of it and press the two white buttons with two hands and then recline the seat. Now that's always been fine, like I've always hated the idea of it but it's always been doable. The other day I had a 15 month old in the bug and I couldn't recline the seat and I couldn't sit it up and it frustrated me. The weight distribution from the child in the seat made it really hard to do. I don't know if it's just my prayer, maybe it's a little bit older or what the go is, but it really frustrated me to have two arms to recline and I, could, I still couldn't work it out. So with the buff, to recline the seat, it has a one handle action, which is just here, the white button, if you can see it through the hood. It's a lever actually, and you pull the lever and it reclines with one hand. So, one, two, three positions, it clicks into place. It does have a fourth, but that's for like a beach buggy mode, which I'm not going to do, that's not necessary. <laughs> so both prams come with the added bassinet, so when you buy the pram, it comes with the bassinet that you put on the pram frame where the seat is, you put the bassinet. So I will show you those, but not Okay, on. so this is what the bassinet looks like when it's on the pram. They look very similar. You can get them in different colours, but what they do is they basically, it's the same pram frame that's 
on here, it's just that the fabric has been swapped over. This is what the fabric looks like. This is like a charcoal collar and it has the apron on it. So this is unzippable, you can zip them off and have it like this one here without the apron. But this is for the cam. They all have their own and they all, like I said, because all the seat sizes are different. We'll also add in that Bugaboo do now have a range of hoods that are extendable. So if you unzip them all the way around, you go from having a normal sized hood, like this one, to a bigger hood with more coverage. A really cool thing about bugaboos as well is that you can like have half of your hood on if for instance the sun was coming in one side and you wanted it just to cover one side you can have the other side pushed back so that the child can see where they're going probably not very necessary with the bassinet unless you were trying to get the airflow in but i think that's a really cool feature that they have on their new hoods it's with the three clips it allows it to do it rather than the two it doesn't really work very well because it's only got the two hood clamps like this cam I believe all cams only have two, but it could be that the newer ones do have three with the extendable hood. There was a few things that I forgot to film, so I'm just going to quickly film them now. First thing is that the seats go both ways. So with the buff, what you do is you just press the buttons in and it will lift up and then you can turn the seats around. What's really cool about this is depending on wherever you put it is where it will lock in. So if you wanted it to sit up, you can lock it in sitting up and it will lock in like that. With the cam, the seat comes off as well, so you can press the buttons and it does the same thing. It actually does lift up and then you can take the seat off and turn it around. Both of the seats go different ways, so they face you and then they face the world. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the fold. So to fold both of them, you, it's better to take the seat off. You can actually fold the buff down with the seat on, which is pretty cool. Usually, bugaboo don't have that option. Let's fold the can first. So you take the seat off. The handlebar is already down as far as it goes. We have the white buttons here that we're going to push down and it's going to drop to the floor. Grab it with your foot, make sure the foam never touches the floor, otherwise you're going to break the foam on your handlebar or the leather. And then grab the bar in the middle and it folds up. So it's not a huge fold, it still is compact. I think just that the long handle makes it a bigger fold, you can see how much longer that is. With the buff, I'm going to take the seat off and put the seat down. And the handlebar is already shorter to fold, it's already down as far as it goes. I'm going to press the black buttons in, pull the white buttons up, drop the handlebar down on my foot, using always grabbing with my foot, and I'm going to pull the metal bar in the middle, and there's the fold on the buff. I'm just going to put them next to each other and I'll show you guys the difference. This is the difference. This is the chameleon and this is the buffalo. I was set with my chameleon and it was the smallest folding pram and it was awesome and everything about it. And a friend of mine was like, no, no, get the buffalo. It's awesome. And I just got it and I can't believe that it ha <laughs> it's a smaller fold. It fits better in my car and everything. Even these up here to put the seat on when you fold when they fold the buff they're down here so they're not in the way. The handlebar is a lot smaller. You can see the basket even tucks in. I mean I guess you can like pull this basket in. But you can see on both you can still have stuff in the baskets when they're folded. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it taught you a little bit about the 
buff and the cam. It's just the main differences between them. I don't think I've left anything out, but if I have, I apologize. Thank you for watching and I hope that you guys subscribe and do like this video for me. Give it a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. Bye.